Today we're making empanadas down in Costa Rica. This was kind of an impromptu recipe while we were making enchiladas, but nonetheless, it is very delicious. These are gonna be chicken enchiladas that are gonna be paired with some classic Costa Rican vegetables. This is also gonna be enriched dough, so we're gonna be adding eggs, grease, and butter to it, which really adds to the flavor in my opinion. This is gonna be a fast one, guys, so let's hop back down to the Costa Rican kitchen and make these. So this whole recipe comes together pretty fast. We're starting with dough since it will be taking the longest. First, we're weighing out 500 grams or 17 ounces of white flour in a container before adding it to a stand mixer bowl. Now add 8 grams or 1.5 teaspoons of salt, and like I said, this is an enriched dough, so we're weighing out 35 grams or 1.5 ounces of pork grease and then cracking 2 eggs into the mix. Then measure out 75 milliliters or 2.5 ounces of milk before weighing out a lot of unsalted butter or margarine. You'll need 225 grams or just over 2 4 ounce sticks worth. Now that everything is in, we can turn the stand mixer on low to incorporate and start kneading the the ingredients. You'll want to knead this anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. The dough should be elastic by the end with some spring to it when you poke it. This particular recipe makes 10 empanadas at 100 grams each, so weigh and play with them on the scale until you have your 10 balls. Now let them rest for 15 to 20 minutes while the gluten relaxes. These are chicken empanadas, so we're using two chicken breasts, preferably with bones still attached. Place these into some water and throw in some onions as well as three cloves of garlic, one stalk of celery with its leaves, half of a bell pepper, as well as thyme sprigs, bay leaves, and a sprinkling of oregano. Lastly, we're adding culantro coyote, or cilantro, as a substitute. Turn the heat to high and boil for 15 minutes, upon which you'll remove the chicken and strain out the broth, which we'll be using here in a second. Now go to work shredding all the chicken and set aside. For the rest of the filling, we're dicing up half of a bell pepper with three minced cloves of garlic and some diced onions. We're also peeling and grating one large carrot. Throw everything into an oiled pot and begin stirring everything around. We're then adding a 10 gram packet of chicken bouillon, as well as the reserved chicken broth from before. Turn everything to a boil, add some pepper and salt to taste, and cover. Once everything is reduced for a couple of minutes, incorporate the shredded chicken and reduce some more before turning out onto a plate to cool. Now back to our balls of dough which are ready to be rolled out. Start by flattening the ball into a disc and then roll it out into a quarter inch tortilla shape that is roughly 6 to 8 inches in diameter. Grab a portion of the filling mix and place it into the center of the empanada. Now lightly brush only one side of the empanada with water and flip over the filling to meet on the other side. Gently press the two seams together as they won't come apart and then I'll show you how the master works for forming the braided shape. That was a little fast, so I'll show it to you again. You're basically taking your thumb and pointer finger and grabbing back from the crease you just made, then pushing it with your other hand's pointer finger before folding the flap from your other hand over. I don't know if that explanation made any sense or helps, but I'll just let you look at the video again so that you can observe it. And just like that, you've made one of the 10 empanadas. Complete this step with the others and lay them out into a greased aluminum baking sheet. Now simply brush all the empanadas with an egg wash and generously sprinkle with sesame seeds like this. Once that's done, poke each empanada a couple of times with a fork to let out the steam during baking, and then these are off to a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius oven for 20. Minutes. Once they've baked for the 20 minutes, turn the oven to broil for 3 to 4 minutes and allow the crust to develop a beautiful dark brown color like this. Remove the empanadas from the oven and then let them cool on a cooling rack while trying desperately not to bite into one of them. And there you have it, chicken empanadas made by a true professional in Costa Rica. Even with these being so last second, they turned out so good with quite an exceptional cross section. They had an amazing savory filling flavor with a perfect amount of richness from the surrounding crust, so seriously go and try these. And that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Honestly, if you are trying to up your baking game, I would get into this because the dough is pretty straightforward and easy, doesn't require a lot of kneading time, and it will hone your baking skills. It has a really simple filling, which is super flavorful and, well, filling. <laughs> so go make this one for yourself, guys. If you liked the video, leave a comment. If you loved it, consider subscribing for more, and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.